let's get right to it. So, when it comes to Honda, Honda has always been known for its reliability, right? Everybody knows Honda engine lasts a really long time. Um, it's just been like the recent, I want to say, decade or so that Honda has been, you know, the quality isn't there. It's still, it's still like good enough but they still having issues and they were forced to recall certain vehicles so let's go ahead and uh, talk about Honda recalling 1.4 million vehicles including 430,000 for salt corros corrosive problems when I had my Honda I think the only one that I had an issue with was the 2008 Civic Si where um, the paint starts fading out too early. I think this was like, geez, it was, ugh, this is a while ago. <sighs> Man, it has to be like at least about 10 years ago. Damn, time fucking flies, man. <sighs> Salt affected 2007 to 2015 Accord Fit, Civic Hybrid, and Acura ILX will be recalled, please, plus CRVs for a switch problem and accord inside cars for software glitches so if you have any one of those vehicles look out for those um bulletin boards and those um yeah the problem could cause a rollaway vehicle when it's left in park without the parking brake activated but honda says there has been no accidents or injuries reported honda is also calling 737,000 accord holy shit that's a lot Accord Hybrid, inside cars for software update, and 268,000 2002 to 2006 RVs to replace faulty window switches. Hmm, I wonder if my girl's car qualified because she has one of those 2002 to 2006 CRVs. Okay, maybe they can fix that for us. Oh, faulty window switches. Hmm. American Honda has announced recalls for 430,000 vehicles to check potential replace the left and right front drive shafts because of salt corrosive corrosion. I think that's good enough, okay? The recall will include 2007 2014 Honda Fit, the 2012 Honda Civic Hybrid. 2013 Acura ILX hybrid. I didn't know ILX comes in as a hybrid. Hmm, this is news to me. 2013-2015 Acura ILX. 2013-15 Honda Accord. The 2013 Accord is pictured above. So yeah, if you have any one of those cars, make sure you look out for this. There's a ton of information on here. I will leave a link in the description if you want to read this whole article. I just wanted to let you guys know about the, the recall, especially me coming as a Honda fan, I and yeah. So make sure you take your cars in to get it um, service if you do get that uh, notification in your mail or whatever. And then also you can always check the government site if there's see if there's any active um, recalls or whatever and whatnot. And for me, I feel like the quality has really dipped. And not just for Honda, Honda and Toyota as well. The quality has dipped, but I don't want to say in all of its cars, but just some of them just having issues. Um, the whole, what, the Takati airbag stuff, and then it was the seatbelt. Oh, man, it's just so many different things that are going on with these companies, and the reliability isn't there as it used to be. Um, I don't know how long these new engines are going to last, if they're going to last a really long time like how those other Hondas have. I've had Hondas for like decades, for as long as I can remember, I've always owned them. And they've always been very reliable. And the fact that they're cheaper to fix, that's another positive. They're not that hard, especially the older ones. All the parts are kind of like interchangeable depending on you know what platform they're using. If they're using the K series, B series or whatever, you can kind of like interchange some of, some of the parts. Not everything, but just some of them are interchangeable. But um, yeah, so we'll see what happens with the 1.5 turbo and the two liter motor. I think the two liter one is gonna be a lot, it's gonna last a lot longer because it doesn't have the turbo. 
uh, just depending on what kind of modifications you do to your car. But, um, you know, I hope I gave you some information here that you can utilize. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you're lurking, thank you for the view. I appreciate it. Thanks. You guys have yourself a very lovely, lovely evening.